If you are familiar uh, of changing the battery of a game, you already know like every time you're changing it, you are losing uh, the save on the RAM. This is because this is a SRAM, a dynamic RAM, uh, and it loses uh, its content if it's not powered. So the uh, coin cell is powering uh, the RAM when the card is not plugged, and uh, it's uh, well barely impossible to um, have access to the content. Also, if you want to dump the game, uh, you are uh, forced to uh, remove uh, the EEPROM, uh, well, the mask from on the card, and then you have to put it on your um, EEPROM burner or dumper. Um, for that, there's a cool object, a cool adapter, uh, which is the Retroad 2, and uh, this is some kind of a USB, um, how could I say, um, reader, I think reader, writer, um, and it detects your card, uh, like they were like SD card uh, on your PC. This is on the uh, market for quite a long time now, and um, as you can see we can put um, Super Nintendo and Genesis and there's a couple of adapter this one is for uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance uh, you got the Plug Master which is for the um, Master System you got uh, inside on the PCB holes to put um, a Game Gear uh, a Game Gear uh, card slot and you got the N64 uh, where you got a uh, plug uh, inside well, at least uh, holes on the PCB to have uh, the um, Control plug. So if you check on the website, you will see like uh, the community uh, work on how um, some console could have uh, their uh, adapter, like making the routing between uh, the pin inside uh, the the part one of the two um, connector and uh, a car the cartridge. So why I'm talking about that today? This is because. Um, Based on Johnny and Scaman uh, work, I made this adapter, which is uh, an adapter for the Ultra Boy. So uh, this is the PCB. This is based on the most advanced work of Scaman, and uh, its uh, work were based on uh, the classic uh, uh, Virtual Boy game, and you can have access to the save, to the save game, so you can write or read the save game, and of course dump the game. But if you are aware, there's uh, the uh, port of um, uh, Street Fighter, uh, Hyper Fighter on the Virtual Boy, and this game is really huge. It's like the bigger, uh, biggest game on the Virtual Boy, and you have different routing uh, to access uh, the full uh, size of the game. So I made this. Uh, I add this uh, um, small IC. Uh, which is a uh, 7.4HC uh, um, don't know if you can see yeah 7.74HC uh, uh, 4053D uh, and a switch here to toggle between uh, the classic mode so you can dump your uh, uh, license and original Virtual Boy games and you can uh, have access to the save game and uh, the uh, Street Fighter, uh, well, Hyper Fighter game. The thing is, this is only theoretical because if you check on eBay, uh, you will see that the, when the game pops up, it costs a lot of money because, well, it's uh, a really short run. So, yeah, it's supposed to work, but unfortunately, I don't have any meanings uh, to test it. If you want to uh, assemble this uh, PCB, uh, you need to uh, build the connector uh, for the um, Virtual Boy game because uh, the Virtual Boy game are using uh, two millimeters spacing row, so you get like um, 60 position on two uh, row. But the uh, size of the pins are for a smaller one. So basically, you have to buy. A 1.7 millimeter spacing row uh, headers, and you have to take it out 
and build one by one the adapter. So I will try to show you. So we're going first to remove top one and then the bottom one. So the problem is this is really 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 a tiny uh, tiny connector and it's a uh, the horrible uh, like it bends so easily you have no idea how this is painful to work so let's say I uh, cut that and shave everything to have a clean connection uh, for the purpose of this video I will just use the other side so the main idea is you take the adapter, you put the connector like that, then you put it inside the game, and then you assemble like that. So uh, the best way to assemble is to solder first the bottom range, and then when you finish, You take the upper range. So again, you will have to remove that. Put the top. You will have all the bottom done. Put it inside. Well, it will it will be solder on the uh, PCB, of course. So be sure. You get no overlap, and you will have to put one, then solder everything on the top and on the lower connector. This is really long, but uh, eventually you will finish with something like that. So as you can see, uh, this is really bent all over, and it's working, but. To provide uh, any uh, further bend because when you uh, keep pushing and remove it you uh, adding force uh, because you know you try to wiggle it to uh, be sure it's uh, it's uh, straight uh, straight insertion but I made this part this is a 3d part where the PCB sliding it when you try to insert you are sure this is straight it's not wiggling so when you assemble everything we get our uh, adapter we get uh, like the switch everything uh, so you put it into the uh, pre-printed uh, sled and then you can put it uh, inside. So of course you just have to uh, have some plastic here to remove and the 3 part already has the shape to uh, put it really flat. So yeah, this part is really easy. It's more difficult when you're looking at the top one. Uh, you have to cut here to have enough space for uh, let the cart and you have to cut here a small uh, hole for the switch when you finish to uh, cut everything um, I designed this label uh, I print it into um, uh, decal uh, paper so uh, this one is transparent so you just have to plunge it into water after uh, cut it on the right dimension and then you just uh, slide it on the top of, uh, of the shell and you get something like that and uh, you can see the sled inside I have access to the button with the normal mode and the hyper mode and uh, yeah I didn't put the screw uh, but so uh, you get two screws on the back so when you put your adapter the cart inside no problem whatsoever
So we got our adapter inside the red rod. I put YOLAN, this game has a save game. I'm going to plug our USB. There you go, so we got the detection on Windows. So if I open it, you see that I got the uh, VB file, uh, which is the, our ROM, and I got uh, the save. And of course, I can copy them wherever I want. So yeah, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, my adapter. I'm going to put everything on uh, GitHub, the PCB, the sled, and the um, uh, label design uh, on a PSD format for the uh, graphic uh, file. The, I'm going to produce uh, maybe five of them, well, six with mine, and I'm going to find a way to um, sell them. Uh, this is, as I say, this is a prototype, so the finish is uh, on Enig. Uh, so it's not really designed to have thousand and thousand to insert and remove but uh, just for dumping games time to time I think it should be alright. I hope you like this video, thanks for watching and see you soon.